Right guys, um, today I am going to do a video, um, it is a little craft video and this is going to be going on one of my altars and pretty much all you need is a picture, card, image of your choice, some of this and I'll show you what you do. Oh, also you'll need something, you can use glitter, you can use something like this, which is my homemade festive kind of altar confetti. Depends really on what you have. So this is what you need to do. Basically what you're going to want to do Is you're gonna to want to um, get at least the card or image size, and then you basically cut this, and then the um, the markings on the on this paper, as you can see. Um, so the um, the this layer peels off, and it leaves a clear layer underneath. So this is what I want to do. So I want to get the size first. This doesn't have to be perfectly done. Basically just want to get a rough idea of cutting um, because I'm not going to need the full size. I'm just going to need to know where I am when I cut it out so that I've got a rough guide and then I'll cut it out. Basically this is just very roughly cut out and the reason why it's very roughly cut out is because I'm going to be cutting more off of this when I get the size of my picture frame. So I'm not going to need the full size but you'll get what, where I'm coming from in a second. Well, as you can see, that's the plasticky kind of stuff there. So what I want to do is I want to try and figure out where my confetti is going to go. So this is basically a trial and error thing. So. Bearing in mind where this is going to be going and kind of getting an idea. So basically the confetti is on and then I put the picture on and I basically put this back over and I cut it out so everything doesn't get all wrinkled and things. And then I cut it out and hopefully it'll work out alright we shall see. So then you cut around your said image and then as you cut the, the back will come off and then you have a, what do you call it, you have a clear sealed um, image so I mean this is how it works we've imprinted images off the you know, like a photocopied image because <clears throat> even if you don't have photo paper and you just have regular print paper um, you can print off whatever it is you want to print off do it the same way um, because you've got this clear notebook cover uh, protective stuff <clears throat> on it, it will mean that your image is protected so when you put it into the frame it won't smudge or distort or anything like that. Just make sure that when you lay your image down you have something on either end or something like that to stop your paper rolling up so that when you put your image down 
um, onto the clear um, boot covering material that it doesn't rumple up or it doesn't crease or whatever and you get a smooth finish. Now what I've done in other images in the past, depending on what image you're using, you can do symbols, you can write stuff on the back here, nobody's going to see it because your back of your frame is going to be over. And you can really put anything, you can put little messages, you can put symbols, you can even use it for spell workings depending on what it is you're doing. And of course, like I say, when you have the back over, nobody is going to know because it's going to be all sealed and nobody will be able to see what you have on there. So, I will show you just now what this looks like. Just going to do my last minute cleaning of said frame. And I can say, uh, you can choose any image. It can be a magically related image, you know, for altar or for um, seasonal decor or whatever. And basically, you're going to have um, a lovely little image. Now, this I am going to use on my ancestor altar, which the reason why I'm opting for this is because um, my I never met my granddad, so I don't know in regards to him. But regards my gran, she was into this time of year, and basically this is what it looks like. I'll put it where it's going to live so you can see it better. Um. So pretty much I'm just, I don't know if this is the exact spot it's going to be in but it's just to give you a bit of an idea as to how things look when you have them where they need to live hang on a sec so this is what it looks like and I think it looks really quite effective and like I say it is a, an expensive thing. I already had the frame. It was a card I already had left over. And these are the uh, seasonal confetti I made. And I'm just incorporating into a few different things. And like I say, this image really resonated with my granny when she was... I'm alive so I've chosen this image specifically because of the time of year and specifically because I know she really enjoyed this time of year and she always used to call me on, on Robin Redbreast and talk about them and um, say things like um, you know that if you saw them predominantly at this time of year it meant that sorry you can see my TV there it meant that, hang on a sec, that's better. It meant that um, you see them at this time of year, it means you're going to have a harsh winter. And I've seen a couple, not a great load, but I have seen a few. So there is lots of lore and lots of things connected in with Robin. Uh, but um, it's just a little thing that I kind of thought would be nice because, like I say, it is a time of year that my gran enjoyed while in this mortal coil, so I thought it would be very apt to add this onto her little sacred space. And like I say, I'm not sure about my granddad because I, I never met him. He was passed before, well before I was even a twinkle in my parents' eye. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little craft. Lots of love and bless the bee and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.